I recently realized I've been giving my girlfriend advice that I don't apply to my own life, so I started doing this thing where any time... I'm about to give her advice. I just apply whatever that is to my own life, and I've got to say, I've gotten really good at giving myself a blowjob. Holy shit. Man, I got fired at Disney World at that shit. They got me doing it at Disney World. Literally, I got fired. Graced upon us by the big red fellow himself. Memphis's own William Montgomery. The big red fellow. <laughs> Tony, I don't know if you saw it. I was actually also on a Super Bowl commercial last night. I don't know why anybody's talking about it. I was on the Pringles commercial last night. You were? What did you do? I said, once you pop, you don't stop. <laughs> Seriously, I was like the lead role in it. It was giant. Yeah, I was on the Pringles commercial. It's like I woke up, everybody's talking about David on that fucking planners thing. His ass wasn't even fucking on it. And I'm the one saying the line, once you pop, you don't stop for the fucking Pringles commercial. And it's like, nobody's fucking talking about it. It's the biggest thing that's literally ever fucking happened to me. And it's like, nobody even mentions it. They all talk about fucking David and he didn't even say shit in his fucking commercial. We had no idea. That is incredible. How much did you get paid to do the Pringles commercial? Four million. Wow, four Yeah, yeah. Dollars. That is... Once you pop, you don't stop. <laughs> That, that's how you said it? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Once you Tony, I swear to God, I found the best Oreo cookies. They're cookies and cream, cream Oreo cookies. I ate, I don't know, a whole, the whole thing last night. Yeah, I've never heard of Can such a thing. Can you explain to us what that is? Is there cream on the outside? I don't get it. Just an Oreo cookie. Just the cream is cookies and cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd never seen that before. It was delicious. It was how double stuff. Oh, double stuff. Yeah, that shit was double stuff. I love it when it's double stuff. How much do you love it? Almost more than when I killed that dude. I swear to God, I scared the shit out of him. I jumped out of the fucking closet. Holy shit. Absolutely incredible. Once you pop, you don't stop. That's so interesting that they would have you say it like that. It sort of sounds like... Bye. Once once you pop, you don't stop. Wow, that is incredible. Did they tell you to do it like that? Yeah, it was really weird. The guy got me into his into his office, and was yeah, he was like, you need to talk like a black person for this. I was like, are you sure I'm not black? Like, this seems weird. It's a Pringles commercial on fucking the Super Bowl. And he just kept on insisting, and yeah, so I did Once you paw, you don't stop. Wow, that is incredible. But seriously, once you pop one fucking Pringle... D-Madness like says that they don't talk like that. You are in big trouble. What, blind he blind is, people? No. What's no. They don't talk like that. The I'll fuck are you talking about? I'll you. I saw the fucking Pringles commercial, you piece of shit. These Horrible mistake. Punky sitting. Did these these motherfuckers paved the way. So I want I want I want. Okay, you know okay. I didn't I didn't take a. Are you mad? Story. No, I fucking loved it. <laughs> okay. I well, thank you for bringing it up. Thank you. Right, I yeah, apologize. I, bring it up, I do it to everyone. <laughs> so maybe I need to stop. Yeah. But I never go to stop. <laughs> I get it. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen, bind him on cameo, the real deal, the big red machine. <laughs> Nobody fucking help him get off the stage tonight. Oh my God. Good luck finding the stairs. I was on a fucking Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> D Madness says he never saw your commercial. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> God, where the fuck am I right now? God, am I in the fucking twilight? It literally was the biggest opportunity of my life. Oh, shit. Thank you, and I was kidding. I've been kidding. We're both kidding. Okay. Good. 
Okay. This word. Yeah, I'll be honest, Tony. I didn't even want to leave my apartment tonight. You what? Hold on. Excuse me. What? <laughs> oh, D Madness says. That's a very interesting uh, story you just told just now. I had to speak my mind on it. Oh. Sorry. Oh, don't shit. Try to look at me like... Once you pop, you don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they kept on telling me to say it like that. I was like, I don't. <laughs> D Madness is <sighs> wild. <laughs> Thank you, Screwball. <laughs> what does that fucking mean, Red Band? Are you insinuating he's fucking drinking tonight? You know he doesn't fucking drink, you dumbass. Why would you even. Seriously, what did that mean? It, my mistake. Oh, Okie right. dokie. You're <laughs> rocking a Kirkland signature sweatshirt today. We've heard about this on again, off again relationship. New sponsorship deal: seven point five million next three months. <laughs> Kirkland signature. I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about what? I don't know. I've had this horrible brain fog, Tony, <laughs> after being off the nicotine. Holy shit. Oh my uh, goodness. What else do you love about Cracker Barrel? <laughs> Tell us more about what you love about Cracker Barrel. Is there a certain type of people other than old that uh, resides there that you love? Yeah, well, weirdly enough, there's a bunch of fucking blind people that show up at the Cracker Barrel. Wait, I, wait a second. I don't. I'm not buying this for a second. Are you sure they're blind? No, I am just enraged right now. Oh, I cannot believe. Nice. I'm just trying to keep my composure right now. I swear to God, I was scared to even come here tonight, Tony. I didn't even want to leave my fucking place because I knew I would end up interacting with D Manis. D Manis, I thought we were friends. What even happened tonight? <laughs> Oh my goodness. You really know how to pick your battles, William. Once you pop, you don't stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. I'm still trying to get over the fact Miss Cleo is not. Who have I been talking to, Tony? Oh my goodness. I've been talking to some Jamaican lady on the phone, I swear to God. <laughs> Are you going to stop talking to her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to stop talking to Miss Cleo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, I swear to God, I'm never gonna stop talking to this Jamaican woman. <laughs> Hold on, what the fuck is going on? Y'all are scaring me. Stop. <laughs> Those fuck! College I'm literally dripping. Yeah, stop. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so what have you in this bunny? What really do you school. order when you go to Cracker Barrel? Grandma's pancake breakfast. Tony... Yeah, I mean, you're, wor you're working with some sausage. You're working with some fucking eggs. You can make the sausage egg biscuits, and then you get blueberry fucking pancakes, Tony. Unbelievable. Holy shit, man, I love the blueberry pancakes. <laughs> I can't even stop eating the blueberry pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Moses. Who is this black guy you're impersonating? <laughs> I started listening to a bunch of Ja Rule. Honestly, I've I've been listening to a bunch of Ja Rule. Hello, hello. I started doing that at the Pr Pringles set, and he was like, "Stop doing that." I'm like, "What are you?" Yeah, I just. Oh, ja Rule, incredible. William, what would it take for you to stop fucking this guy? Probably some Ritz Bit sandwiches. <laughs> okay. I've been eating a bunch of Ritz Bits recently. That's not the answer I was expecting. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Ritz Bits. Ritz Bits? What are these? It's little bits of sandwiches. <laughs> like With cheese, cheese, peanut butter, Ritz Bits. Ritz Bits? Yeah, Ritz Bits. It's like Red little Red Band pieces. is dying of laughter. The chief, so good. Our chief snack correspondent, Red Band, is dying of laughter right now. <laughs> yeah, it's I've many never little seen sandwiches. him laugh this hard on this show. Ritz Bits. But snacks hit them. Ritz Bits. Yeah, they have peanut butter. They have all kinds of stuff. They have s'mores Ritz Bits. You think you're ever going to stop eating Ritz Bits? I'm never going to stop eating <laughs> Ritz Bits. And I swear to God, I'm never going to stop talking to that fucking Jamaican lady. She is so sweet. That is incredible. Maybe next week we'll give her a call on the show. Yeah, we should. All right. Let's Ladies and gentlemen, it. William Lights Out Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> 
I met him at the airport two weeks ago in the Nashville airport. Yeah. I was starstruck. Yeah. What did you say to him? What did he say to you? I said, Ja, you are a giant inspiration for me. I'm actually in the middle of, of filming a Super Bowl commercial. And he's like, oh, that's cool. He's like, what are you doing? I'm saying, once you pop, you don't stop. But they told me to talk in like a black person voice. And I was like, I've been listening to a bunch of your mixtapes and stuff. You've, you're my inspiration. And I got to say it like that, but then he was like, okay, get the fuck away from me. What I, honestly, I didn't get a picture. But when I he said it, how did, what did it sound like when Ja Rule said that to you? Man, you going to have to stop! <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got to stop! That was very DMXy, no doubt about it. Oh, We're pretty sure you're getting your black rappers confused. It could have been. Did DMX. he happen to bark like a dog at some point at this yeah. airport? Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, DMX is dead, so that's weird. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Well, you're an absolute icon. Nice to see you. We love you. No one closes the show like you. We've seen this before, folks. Redman, you're fucking up that stupid noise. I'm not blinking that. I'm not winking that much.